to a big loss in Hollywood, the passing of Goodfellas star Ray Liotta at the age of 67. The shocking news, Liotta died in his sleep in the Dominican Republic while on location for his next project, the dark drama Dangerous Waters. E.T. has learned there is no foul play suspected in his death and no investigation pending. The last time Ray was spotted in public was just over three weeks ago, out to dinner with fiance J.C. Natolo in California. As far back as I could remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. It was Leota's breakout film, Goodfellas, in 1990 that made him Hollywood's go-to tough guy. To, to laugh, laugh crazy, like with Joe Pesci, is fun. To, to beat people up, you know, and make believe is fun. Romancing Lorraine Bracco is a lot of fun. Today, co-star Lorraine Bracco paid tribute to her longtime friend. They always ask, what was the best part of making that movie? My response has always been the same, Ray Liotta. Robert De Niro added, he is way too young to have left us. May he rest in peace. If you build it, he will come. From Field of Dreams with Kevin Costner to Blow with Johnny Depp and guest starring roles in sitcoms like Young Sheldon and Modern Family, Ray did it all. But there was one role he was always on the lookout for. I would like to do something extremely romantic. I really would where I'd finally have to, you know, I don't have to choke the girl to kiss her. It wasn't romantic, but Ray did find on-screen chemistry with Jennifer Lopez in Shades of Blue. I feel like when we do our scenes together, something really great happens. J-Lo wrote today, Ray was the epitome of a tough guy who was all mushy on the inside. He was so kind to my children. Ray is survived by his only child, Carson, who never bought into her dad's tough guy persona. It's kind of hard to take him seriously. It's kind of funny. I don't know, I just kind of laugh. At the end of the day, all you want is people to be entertained. That's it. Just a shock. When Ray, we were enamored and entertained by everything you did.